Well, this is glitched out, hasn't it? That's not... These are dying. They're absolutely... Oh, this game. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In this episode, we're going to look at sorting out our power situation. We've got the whole base at the moment being powered from one guy, and he's working his little heart out, but it's all a bit too much for him. So, coal. Coal is the new thing. What have we got? We've got a decent amount of coal. Uh, how are we doing for algae, by the way? We're doing okay. We're not doing terribly. We're not doing terribly at all. And air pressure in the base is overall looking pretty good. And we've got a decent kind of spread of our gas and stuff like that. So, no huge problems going on there. It looks like we've got all our contaminant auction going up to the top of the base as well. Which is good. We might go and eventually dig this area out. I mean, what is that? What is up there? Oh, this is like... Um, the kind of ice biome and stuff up here yeah so this is the next thing what we're going to do is put a coal generator in and i want to build it down here out the way because as soon as we build it we need to start getting on top of the carbon dioxide problem and that's going to require an air scrubber um but in the meantime in the meantime we can just kind of dig down here which is probably what i'm going to do actually we could dig an escape route for the carbon dioxide for down here yeah i actually like the idea of that let's let's do that like that. And we can have another place to store carbon dioxide then. Okay, cool. Right. For now, though, let's get on to having the duplicants build this stuff. Looks like they're kind of running around just keeping on top of the base at the moment. Um, so, let's prioritise this so that they work a little bit quicker. Right, let's set this to seven. This is the main bit I want digging out here because that's where we're going to want to actually build our generator. My thinking on this is we'll build the coal generator down here. It's far enough away from the base that the heat's not going to cause a problem for here. I hope at least. And any carbon dioxide, obviously, we can siphon off down to this vacuum. And we can put our, eventually, our carbon dioxide scrubber in here. And, um, and it will be able to clean up any oxygen that falls down and any that comes up and gets pushed up from that. So, they're going to sleep now, guys. I'll let them sleep through the night. I'll get back to you as soon as they wake up. Let's have a quick look at the reports on how we've been doing. We've been making about the same amount of oxygen that we've been using. And that is on limited power to these things here. As soon as we sort out the power situation, this oxygen is going to be not a problem for us anymore at all. I just need this area dug out. That's all I need you to do. And then build me a coal generator down here, please. Set the priority to that for a bit higher. We're going to need wires, so we might as well sort this out now. In fact, how much is this going to output? Uh, it says it will output power 600 watts we're going to have running down those wires. Okay. And it's going to give us 20 grams per second of carbon dioxide. And do we know how much... Do we know how much carbon dioxide the air scrubber removes? That uh, can use way more than that. Okay, so that's not going to be a huge problem for us. Right, let's get the wires down. Slow them down a little bit. Slow them down and get some wires going on. If we run a wire down like that, like that, up here. You know what? Do I go heavy duty or do I go regular? I'll go regular, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. We're going to run out of places to put this. Well, we, I think we have the coal generator powering all this stuff. And then we disconnect the other stuff from the grid. That's what I'm thinking. So like, that goes to there. And joins up to that. And joins up to that. I've got a bad feeling that I'm going to blow these cables. Well, if I do, we can fix it. If I do, we can fix it. Open research. We're doing pretty well with getting all the research done. I want to keep this going because, like I say, as soon as that's finished, that takes a massive load off. Um, as soon as we've finished all the research. But we do want to get it all done. Okay. Where's my wires? Where are they? Right, this thing's already built, right. So we're going to get them to refill it when it hits 50%. I'm happy with that. Um, get working, man. Get working on these wires. That's what I want you to do. Seven. Get on it. Okay, that should pretty much do it. I reckon. And we'll, I mean, we'll give it a, a high priority. Uh prioritize this stuff here and we'll just make that six because i do want that done relatively soon um yeah i want it done soon let's just stick a ladder there just in case they get stuck i don't think they will um right yeah why aren't they doing it what's going on uh so we've got someone doing research again 
But that's going to pay off massively in the long run. As soon as that research is done, I can destroy the computer. I can destroy the research table. We're going to have a duplicate free full time. How's stress doing? 55% of the highest. Let's check them out. It's Howard. Howard's the guy who's stressed out. And, uh, oh my god, she's got a few few problems going on at the moment. Where's the polluted water that she stepped in? Allegedly stepped in polluted water, but I don't see any polluted water anywhere. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. How are we doing for food? 5,000 calories. Right, we might, might need to produce a bit of food in the next day, but we should hopefully be able to get this done first. Oh, they're going down into there to get metal, that's why. And they're stepping in the sewage that's in that room. Okay, not a huge problem. Not a huge thing. Could be a lot worse. Let's have a quick look at our report for the previous day. And we added way more oxygen than we used. So that's good. That's good. Even running on kind of half power. Okay, cool. So they've got that running now. Right, okay. Pause, 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 pause. Okay. I don't want to blow an electric pipe out here. Circuit overloaded. Is that damaged? Where is it overloaded? Give me the electrical overlay. Where is it? Electrical overlay. Circuit overloaded. It says it's like around there. All the... Everything still seems to be getting power though. So this is what I'm thinking about getting rid of. If I disconnect... How's this going to work? No, 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 no. This here. That's what needs to be disconnected. That means that... This thing would just power all this stuff down here, and the coal generator would just power that. Right, deconstruct that wire. Right, I need that done. You know, I need that done immediately, to be honest, guys. Right, deconstruct, priority nine. Just prioritize it, yeah? Whatever. Get it done, though. Get it done. Did they just do that for me already? I can't work it out. Did they? Yeah, they've already done it. Okay, right. So... Circuit overloaded still, it says. It hasn't blown up, though. That's the thing. It's not looking like it's overloaded. If we just run that wire like that, and then prioritise that to be built quickly. I should have two separate circuits. That's how it should end up. That's how this whole thing should end up running. Let's see if they just get this done quickly. Let's put our power like over overlay on. Yeah, the battery's getting power. I don't know where... Oh, that circuit overloaded thing's disappeared now. So let's have a quick look at these wires here. And now... Okay, that's done. Right, so we should now be getting power in this circuit. And that's coming purely from, from this battery here. Which apparently is getting nothing. But there's no one on the, there's no one on the treadmill, to be fair. Right, so is this thing going to run now? Yeah, it is. Okay. So that's going to run purely from manpower, which is fine because it shouldn't need too much. Yes, he's able to fully recharge that battery. And we can replace that with a better battery later. Then we've got this system here, which is running with a fully charged battery from this coal generator. And that is overheating. Okay. That's about to go bang. I didn't realise that that was going to overheat. How hot is it down here? 93 degrees. Oh, my God. I mean, the rest of the base is looking good temperature-wise. How am I going to cool this down over here? I mean, these things, these things here, these wheeze wart, chilly breath, it lets off. It, like, it cools the area down all around it. See, this area is like minus 36 over here. Uh, I can't get a temperature read in there for some reason. I suggest it's a vacuum. There's no actual temperature in a vacuum. Vacuum, vacuum, but we got space up here. Yeah, I mean, that's minus 17 up there. Okay, so I'm wondering if I should have built over there and put our coal generator over there instead, and whether that would have been the thing to do. I feel like maybe it would have been. What else have we got? We've got this area up here. I suppose we could have put it up here. These, um... How do these work? Seeds of a wheeze wart. Can you collect those, do you think? And plant them? We want an area, realistically, with one of those wheeze warts in, so we can have somewhere to put the generator and it won't overheat and go and explode. Because that's about to go. I mean... That is about... That's about to explode. So, let's have a look at uh, utilities. 
Thermoregulator cools the gas piped through it. Hydrofan dissipates a small amount of heat. Yeah, this isn't going to... I don't think we're going to be able to run this thing down here. That's the problem. It's a shame. But I think it's just going to keep exploding. I don't think we've got a way necessarily to cool that air down. Okay, so not really sure whether this is the right thing to do, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking we expand into this ice, this ice biome here. This is kind of my plan. So, what we would do is put a manual airlock here. Why can't I put that down? Do I have to deconstruct this stuff first? I think I do, so we'll sort that out afterwards, right? But, we would tile along here like this, right? This is what we would do. Along here. And then maybe go a step up. Okay. And then leave that area right by that thing untouched. And then we would maybe build like a chamber. I guess. Or just kind of go like that actually. Cancel that. Right. So I guess we could dig around it. Dig that out. Dig that Dig out kind of like that. And then we only need two high down here. Like that. Like that. And then we need obviously to deconstruct those first couple of things there. And we would probably just get some of these tiles and build them across there like that. That needs to be deconstructed as well. The ladder needs to be gone. Okay, and I think... I don't know why that didn't deconstruct when I selected it. I might have just liquid pipes only selected. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Or, okay. And deconstruct there like that. Okay, yeah. That's what I think we're going to do. And then we're going to put the coal generator in there. Because at the moment... That, I can see, only causing problems. See, it needs all this material constantly to repair it. Okay, oh, we've got the option for another duplicate. Might be the right time for a new one, actually. Uh, we've got an uncultured person with really low decor expectation who's high athletics. So that can be quite good because that's going to make him pretty quick. And I could have her as kind of our delivery person. She's not going to re require much from um, decoration. She's not going to be able to cook, but that's not a huge problem. I think we will take her. Right, print. Ada. Okay, so we've got a new person. That's going to help us, because we're going to have someone else to actually get some work done now. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Cancel that work there, because I don't really care about it. There's a place for the calm dock side to go now, at least. Okay, they're getting like super hot when they go down there, so that's not particularly useful. On the plus side, they're building this they're building this area really quickly, which is good, right? I want um I want a gas tile there. I want one there. And once they actually get all the way over here, let's actually just get them to build the coal generator for us as well. And I'm thinking that this area, hopefully, this stuff should keep that cool. That's the plan, at least. Um, might actually be worth putting liquid permeable tiles in. Have we got any liquid? No, we haven't got those yet. Is everyone sleeping? Yeah, they are. Have a quick look at vitals. Uh, Howard's coming back down a little bit. Uh, let's have a look at the reports. Just see how we're doing with oxygen. We're doing just fine so far. This thing... This thing keeps breaking... Which isn't fantastic. But let's keep that going until we can get this situation sorted out over here. Let's get some mush bars on the go. And let's prioritise this work to like a 7 so that it gets done. Because uh, we're going to want it done. Okay, get on that guys, get on it. From there, let's get our electrical power and build a wire. It's going to come all the way down here like that. And it's going to join up to the grid that we want it to join up to in the first place. Um, 
yeah, before this actually goes crazy, let's get a door in here as well. Manual airlock, that'll be fine. Maybe even... Maybe go with a double airlock. That's probably not a bad idea. Okay, yeah, people are getting, like, burned. There's a food shortage going on. Food's been made, though, so not a huge problem. And we've got insufficient oxygen generation, which means they've breathed more than they've made, but... I don't think we've got a huge problem yet. The base, to me, is looking pretty good. On the whole, that isn't looking bad. This coal generator is a problem. We're not going to lie. That's not helping us out one little bit. Uh, let's prioritise this work as well here. Because it needs to be done. It all needs to be done, guys. It does. Okay, this might be the way to do it. So then the concern's going to be, is this thing... Is this thing going to be enough to compensate for the coal generator heat that it kicks out? And where we're going to send the carbon dioxide to afterwards? That's another question. We can probably kind of send it down here and work out kind of a tunnel system to get it back into the bottom of the base and be uh, be cleaned up down here. That's probably not impossible. I'm just going to cancel the repair on that thing because, you know, we'll just let it, we'll let it get damaged. We'll let it get damaged. We've got a new one coming on and they're just wasting their time filling it up and everything. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is get back to you when all this is built here and we've got this sorted out. Okay, so they're getting this thing built. In the meantime, we run into a bit of a problem because we've got our electrolyzer working at the moment, but it's been in and out because this generator's not been particularly reliable. It's not pumping out massive amounts of oxygen into the base. It's helping, but I'm not sure if it's doing it, if it's doing enough or not. And we're actually out of algae at the moment, so. We've got no way of generating any oxygen from algae. And there's no more algae that I can see anywhere on the map. I'm leaving them going with this. Because ideally I'll get this coal generator up and running in here. We're not going to we're not gonna have too many problems. The temperature has dropped right down in this area. Uh, temperature has actually dropped in the whole base a little bit. Since we've been going in and out of there. Yeah, could do with finding out whether or not with this running full time. Whether our oxygen is going up or down. I mean, the electrolyzer, what's it say? It's emitting... Yeah, we'll have to find out if this is actually emitting enough gas to keep the base under control. Uh, reports, right. So, previous report, we only generated 75. 133, 174, so we're not generating massive amounts of oxygen. That's the problem. It might have been to do with inconsistent kind of power generation. I'm not 100% sure on that. What's this saying? Insufficient resources, copper ore, we don't have any. Okay, right, so we can't actually build that until we get some more copper. Where can we get copper from? We can get it from in here. Uh, let's do a priority, uh, a quick priority dig around here. Because there's a, there's a decent amount of copper to be had. Let's get someone on that. Okay, someone's stress levels are getting pretty high. Do we have someone die? Oh no, I think we've had someone die. Did someone get trapped? We're supposed to have five duplicates. It's saying four. Where did they go? Oh, no. Who died? Someone down here. Someone in the cold, maybe. Oh, well, that's stupid. Okay, right. If you can see what happened there. Yeah. Okay. She got, like, built into the game. But Okay, so we're down a duplicate. I think that was our runner, was it? No, no, she was just a general dog's body. Okay, well, we can get a new duplicate. It's not the end of the world. Most important thing is that we get this stuff done. I suppose at least that's going to be less oxygen consume, being consumed in the short term. Okay, these guys seem to be stuck in some kind of stupid loop here. Right, let's... Uh, God, I don't know. What, what do you want me to do with this? Something like that. Prioritise it, I guess. I don't know. Well, this has glitched out, hasn't it? That's not... These are dying. They're absolutely... Oh, this game. This game, right. This Howard's going to die now as well. And he's my researcher. I don't quite know why. I can't work it out. It says suffocating, but he's stuck here. There's nothing stopping him from going. He should just be able to walk past the water pump. That shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, no, don't go in there. No, no, no. Cancel all this stuff. Okay, we're down to... What, one duplicate now, is it? Two? Okay. Well, we can get new ones, I guess. That's caused us a bit of a problem in the game here. We've lost three duplicates in one go. And that's not going to do us any good whatsoever. I mean, they are the main oxygen consumers, so maybe it'll allow us to get the base back under control quickly. 
Okay guys, so we kind of got the power situation kind of sorted. We are running out of coal now and we're down to two duplicates. Bit of a disaster, I think, partially caught. Lashing out? Who's lashing out? Really? You're lashing out. No, you're not. You're dead. Okay, I don't really know. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever, guys. Right, yeah. I think we'll... Um, I'll slow things down a bit for a minute. I'll have a look in between times and see if there's anything we can do to kind of pull this back. Uh, the issue we're running into now is that we actually don't have any coal left whatsoever. So I'm going to need to go mining for coal. That's going to be the next job to do. There is a bit of coal down here, so that's probably not the biggest issue in the world. Uh, we can kind of set that up now, I guess. Like, uh, like that. Dig that out. But yeah, in between times, we might have some duplicates coming soon. I'll have a look, see if we can possibly redeem this or if we're going to have to more or less give up on it. Um, it's a shame if we do, because it seems to go downhill super quickly there for no real good reason. But yeah, guys, either way, we'll do another one, whether it's uh, starting from scratch or whether we're able to kind of salvage this and pull it back. I'd like to pull it back, so I'm happy with the base. If you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.